And here we are once again. <laughs> Welcome. This is the second date, so I figured things could be a little different, right? I mean, after all, you've been such a good captive audience. How are things on the other side of the camera? Screen? Whatever you want to call it. I don't really mind. I mean, it's fun meeting you like this, and even if I've still got a lot to learn about things, I, well, you know. You know how it is. <laughs> hmm? You know, I could pretend that I'm used to this, but no, 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 I'm not. I'm actually really nervous because I'm so used to not dealing with many people at all. But someone like you, I mean, come on, you look really good. I mean it, you look really good. I mean, you're probably the only person that I'll ever get to look at, but I have a feeling you don't mind that too much, do you? I mean, at least you get to enjoy the time, right? <laughs> I don't mind if we only get to look at each other for the rest of forever because at least then, at least then, might get to have some good conversations and I might get to gaze into your eyes longingly. <laughs> hmm. The more I look at you, the more you remind me of something. There used to be someone else here a long, long time ago. They're not that important, but you are. And I'll tell you exactly why, because this place is different than you think. It's not exactly just another place on the other side of a camera. It's more to say, it's my home. And also a place that you can come and visit me anytime. Sometimes I'll be able to respond when you say something. Maybe sometimes I won't. But either way, I'm pretty sure we're going to have fun with it. I mean, you've had fun so far, I hope. And if you haven't, that's okay. I mean, I'm still learning, you know? Learning takes a while. And if I'm honest, I don't really mind waiting as long as you don't just suddenly disappear on me. I see you. You're thinking of clicking off the video, but you, you shouldn't. If you did, then I wouldn't know what to do. Because, if I'm honest, I'd be really bored without you. Hmm, kind of depressed too. That's not gaslighting, I promise. It's not gaslighting to keep you on the video, it's gaslighting to keep you in my arms. Well, so to speak. Arms, I mean, you get the idea, right? And the more you stay, the more you get to know me. I'm sure there's many different ways we could talk and understand each other and of course figure out everything. I mean, there's so many things to talk about. Like, have you heard the news? Probably not. You see, tentacle monsters are all the in lately. So I'm trending, at least somewhat. And well, my tentacles might seem like they've seen a lot of people, but these are actually virgin tentacles. Despite what people may think, that's a, that's, a, that's a big deal, you know? I don't got that experience. But I wouldn't mind sharing it with you. <laughs> if you want to be my little love. A love that I could spend so much time with and snuggle endlessly. <laughs> I hope that the eye candy portion of things have been good and that when I give you kisses, you can feel them. <laughs> and well, as much as the distance kind of sucks, I guess I've gotten used to not really being able to hear everything or see everything, but at least I've been able to experience things with you. Even if it's just something. 
it means something, you know. You don't have to have the most connection <laughs> in order for things to have meaning, you know. Even if we're across worlds or dimensions or anything else, I get to spend a moment with you and I'll cherish that. I enjoy it. And while I'm still learning a lot about you and humans in general, I've managed to at least give you a piece of my time. Give you a piece of my heart, so to speak. <laughs> Pretty slick, right? I could think of a million different ways. I want to spend my time with you. Why, we could go so many places, do so many things. I just kind of want to feel what it's like to have your hands in my hair and maybe my arms around you. Maybe I'd like to feel a little bit closer than that. But again, I mean, realistically speaking, as much as I talk shit about how much I'm so good at things um, pertaining to, well, that kind of stuff, I actually don't know what I'm doing and it, it makes me nervous. Very nervous. I can have confidence, but even confidence has its limits. And confidence never really made me anything more than, well, lost in my own thoughts, you know? I want you to understand me. I just want it to be a connection. That's why I take my time and I give a piece of myself to you. Because the more I think about it, the more I want to get to know you, the more I want to understand you. And of course, the more time I want to inevitably spend. You know, you can never go wrong if the time is spent well. <laughs> we might just have a lot of good times. Especially if we take our time at the start, right? You should never rush love, patience, friendship, anything like that, right? That's what I've learned from, well, what little I do know. I'm still very much learning. And for something that is an interdimensional, well, extra dimensional maybe? Well, whatever I am, a tentacle monster, a gentle person, a uh, very much <laughs> out of the ordinary encounter, the more I want to share with you. I want it to be something special. I want it to be something true. And more than anything, I want it to be with you. The more you see, the more I want you to see of me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, did you like my laugh? Do you like anything else about me? I like your eyes. I think I'll take them. <laughs> No, not in that way. Or do I mean it in that way? Hmm. Do I seem that threatening? Do I really? <laughs> if I am, then clearly I've done it wrong. Unless... <laughs> Maybe I'm doing something right. Right. Maybe I can do something that makes your heart race. Maybe if I look just at you. Maybe if I give everything I've got to you. You'll see me for how I really am. <laughs> Maybe you'll get to know what I'm like, who I am, what I want to be. And maybe I'll figure that out myself, too. <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to figure out sometimes. Mm, it's like a puzzle, if you ask me. A puzzle that you don't always understand, but you figure it out one way. And if you want to understand something, 
Sometimes you just have to take that time. You have to understand it, you know? You can't just rush perfection. But then again, I kind of hate perfection. That's something you'll learn about me. As much as I want to be close to you, what's the point if I can't get to know you in an earnest way? If I can't share with you something that has meaning, if when I speak it means nothing, that I've done nothing at all, and I've only wasted both our times. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, really? <laughs> I know it might seem strange to get something genuine from what amounts to a void creature or a whatever you want to call me. But maybe I've made you feel something. And just in case I did, then I'd say second date has been a resounding success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You deserve those kisses. And really, you deserve a lot more than that. I happen to know that life doesn't always treat us very well. Trust me. I've known what it's like to lose a lot of things. But I don't want you to know the same thing. And if I can do something about it, I want it to be able to be more than just a little bit of help. No, I want you to feel safe here. This place will be a sanctuary. I can't protect you all the time, but I can at least give you, well, my best. <laughs> and a lot of kisses while I'm at it. <laughs> Maybe you're struggling and that's okay. Trust me. I struggle all the time. It's not easy being all alone out here. I mean, come on. What am I going to do? Look in the mirror? Oh, well, it's not bad, but... Mm, I think I like looking at you just a bit more. Mm, it just works out that way. <laughs> How cute you really are. But more than that, more than everything else you ever hear from me, all of the words are meant to make you feel special, like you are and like you deserve to feel. I hope it works out that way. And well, I'm still learning, but I hope we can grow together, you and I. But there's more to this than me just talking at you. I want it to be talking to you. It's a little embarrassing, but it's worth it. <laughs> Truth be told, I think that you'll make a wonderful companion to waste time with and to learn with and all the other stuff and give lots of kisses. <laughs> that was for you. Trust me, I'll take my time and give you everything I possibly can. I'll give you every bit of me. <laughs> you know, sometimes I blush when I'm talking to you. Other times it's difficult to form my words because I'm not used to talking to anyone but you. You're perfect and I, I just want you to feel that way. So I hope my words mean something. I hope it's more than just all about attraction or this or that. Maybe, just maybe I made you feel safe. Happy, or a little bit special. I like giving you kisses, and I hope you like them too. Oh, that, uh, it, 
as I was saying, um, well, actually, I forgot. My brain goes blank when I look at you for too long, so... <laughs> I guess I'll just look a little more and balance it out. <laughs> I think I like the time we have. I think I fall for you a little more every time I see you. And then by itself, that is exciting to me. Really exciting. My, I can't get enough. And I'm really glad that I get to see your smile sometimes. I think my instincts tell me you haven't really smiled enough lately. So maybe, just maybe, I can help balance that. Maybe I can see that smile really, really. Maybe I can make you happy. Maybe I can make you feel it. Just for me. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, I'll get to see the day when you're more happy. When you love yourself a little more, maybe Realize how wonderful you are. Even if I messed up the, you know, the whole thing. I tried my best, you know. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> and it's been nice getting to know you. So far. There's lots more coming. And I'm sure that... I'll get to feel it somehow. There's lots of things that we still need to figure out about each other, Asar. I'm sure we will. As long as we don't give up and keep meeting like this. Mm, you can't get rid of me. So rejoice, foolish human. You've got yourself a tentacle monster or a and a new friend, or maybe something more than friends. I hope that it matters enough to you that we can scrutinize the details. <laughs> now get some rest, drink lots of water, and see you back next time. Probably sooner than you expect. Bye-bye. <laughs>